In this video, I will go over the quadratic probing example that was presented in the Coding Challenge 6 write-up. In this example, you are given a hash table with seven buckets, and the function is the key mod seven. Draw the final table using quadratic probing for 76, 40, 48, five, and 55, with constant one equal one half, and constant two also equaling one half. Assume no rehashing. First we get 76, 76, and the first iteration will be zero, so this really just becomes 76 mod seven. That value is free. We do the same thing with 40. Next we get 48. When 48 hashes, it hashes to six. We can't go there. So what's gonna happen is it's gonna take this value as the new current position. And basically, normally this would be six plus one for a linear probe mod seven. And that's what's initially going to happen when we do our quadratic probe. Watch what happens. When we get 1 half plus 1 half times 1 squared, this becomes 6 plus 0 0.5 plus 0 0.5 is now 7. 7 mod 7 is 0. Something that you're going to need to bear in mind when you write your code is that I made this really strong point that the key and the input to the hash function must be accurate, not precise which means that these values represented by 0 0.5 and 0 0.5 that are doubles will eventually need to be cast back to a long unsigned int to go into the hash function. And I describe in the write-up how to do that. So now we're gonna go to five. Five hashes to five, we're not there. Then we put in one in the new iteration, that goes to six, and that's no. Now, in a linear probe, it would try going back to zero, and it wouldn't work. The benefit here is now we go to two in the iteration. We go to six, and then we have one half times two, which is one, plus one half times two squared, which is four, which is two. So this becomes six plus one plus two. So this becomes nine mod seven, which is two. And this allows us to be able to distribute when we have another collision. At this point, we see that the benefit is reduced collisions by improved distribution of keys. And likewise, we're going to do the same thing with 55. 55 can't be found at 6. We would go through that whole process. It would take us to 7. And then... When we have two, it becomes zero plus one plus two, which is going to give us three. And that means that we're able to hash 55 to that bucket.